Yo, what is up guys? Creative Corbin here today with another video. Now my setup is a little bit different because the table that I usually use is wet and soggy from the rain. Um, so we will be using this little tin chair as my backdrop. So today is just a very interesting video. Um, it's an interesting topic. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'll get into it. This is the survival, oh, I'm gonna say it correct to the name. The Air Force Survival Ontario Knife. Uh, I bought this, I didn't buy it. My dad got it for me at Academy for about 56 bucks. Pro quite pricey in my eyes, but we'll get into the knife. We'll talk about its pros and cons, and let's get this review going. This video will be a bit different because I do not have access to a tripod like usual. And uh, yeah, so we'll just have to kind of deal with me holding it. Hopefully it's okay, but uh, and try to ignore the loud cicadas in the background. This is that Texas humid heat. So let's just get on with the video. All right, first things first, we will pull out the knife. Now I will show you in a second that I have done modifications to, the, to this knife already because when I, bought, when I got the knife, it was not that good. So here is the knife. Now I know you probably immediately noticed how worn this thing looks. That was something I did on purpose. I got sandpaper and I purposely wore this knife to make it look more battle torn. And the handle's a little bit dirty looking. Uh, that was also a, a, man, that was also a result of the, um, the scraping I added. It kind of got all over the handle and made it all gunky looking. I personally love how this knife looks by itself with the silver showing through. It looks really old. I'd say it looks like something, something from Vietnam and I completely love it. But when you buy this knife, it'll be completely blacked out and it'll have a really weird texture. And I will put up a picture right now. And that's what it used to look like. It used to be pitch black. And not only that, there was a real bad feature because on the inside of this holster, metal is sticking out on the inside. Very, very small piece. Pull out the sharpening stone. Louise, oh my, there we go. Comes with a sharpening stone. It's actually kind of a nice sharpening stone. I've used it already. Those two bolts right there, little um, divots, uh, show through the other side, the inside of this holster, and or the sheath. Because of that, when you put the knife in and take it out, it scrapes it. It runs a huge line down the blade because of the paint that they have on this knife. So instead of me dealing with that, what I did is I wore it. Because I scraped off all that paint, or the access paint, now, it not only looks 10, like a hundred times better, it no longer leaves scrapes. And no, that's not it. That's just from the inside of this um, fuller. It does that when I sand it. This knife, uh, I'm gonna get onto like the important stuff. First things first, this, uh, the sheath is real leather. Smells heavenly. I like the sheath a lot. Comes with a pretty rough grinding stone. I've already, I've already used this side quite a bit, so it's smooth. Uh, this is like a finer stone now, but this side's rough. So I tend to use the rough side and then I'll sand it off with the smooth side. And now this thing is quite sharp. It's uh, almost razor, but just not quite there. I could still like run my finger across it like this and not have any cuts. Um, this knife, the handle is made of stacked leather, real nice. I love the feel of this knife. It has a bolt pommel. It has, let's see if I can flip this over. Ontario 311. I'm not sure what the 311 stands for, um, but it says Ontario. That's the brand of this knife. But if you want to find this knife online, you can. It is a Air Force Survival Ontario knife. That's how you will find this knife. You could find it for cheaper. It was quite expensive at Academy, but um, it's an okay knife. Besides from the fact the paint scrapes when you put it in the sheath, that's a really annoying factor. Uh, I just sanded it off and it looks amazing and does perfect. Now I'm going to get into the features. People wonder what this 
sawback is for. Now, I know what you're thinking it's, oh, it's just for cutting wood, but a lot of people would be confused because if that was a saw, why is the thing so thick? It needs to be a little bit thinner to really do much. Uh, this sawback is way sharper than you might expect. Uh, and you're also kind of supposed to use the edge of the knife to cut through wood. So yes, this is for wood cutting, uh, cutting grooves in wood. You could possibly cut wood off completely, but it is a little makeshift saw to cut your wood. But, um, and this groove right here, it's not a blood groove. Uh, as a lot of people say it is, uh, it does not really do much well on suction wise. I'm pretty sure it's called a fuller and people say it's added for strength. People say it's added for suction. I'm not sure, but, uh, this is called a fuller just for, so you know, just so you know, uh, these two holes on the pommel or the handguard, these are so you can tie the knife to a stick and use it as a spear to hunt. Uh, which isn't as good because you wouldn't want to damage the knife that way So you would be better off just sharpening a stick with this knife and throwing it at something uh, But that's what these holes are for you put rope through there You put the stick on the handle right here like a long stick and when the string goes through that you can use that to wrap around the Knife tie it off and you have a spear for getting long-range damage uh, But yeah, that's what the two holes are for that's about it with this knife, honestly. Uh, blade is very thick, and I like that. It gives this very tough feel to this knife. It's not going to break anytime soon. The knife, I'm pretty sure, also goes all the way through the handle. As you can kind of see, well, it's very difficult. This knife goes off a little bit on the edges, but then sticks down into the knife. So, this knife is, I'm pretty sure, full tang. It's a full tang knife. Uh, my friend has the same knife as this, but it's actually from the Vietnam era. Uh, he was able to screw off this handle part, and it revealed that this does go all the way through the handle. So I'm pretty sure this is a full tang knife, which is very good, because that means that the blade will not snap off. So, there's that factor. And that is about it with this knife. It's a very beautiful knife. I love it. Uh, of course I like it way more with the sanded blade, but... I will definitely, oh, yes, and also the sharp part is very angular. It isn't too, when it comes in, it's not a very sharp knife. So you will have to sharpen this yourself if you want it to be sharper. Um, that's about it. Another downside is the line right there, that line that leads up to the tip, is different on the other side. It goes to the middle on the other side. But on this side, it sticks off to the side, which is very um, triggering <laughs> in a sort of way. But I tend to not really care too much. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect the knife. It's a heavy knife. It's got a nice weight to it. Definitely a good survival knife. I would recommend it if you got some cash. It's not meant for looks, which is why I'm pretty sure the paint kind of scrapes off when you put it in the thing. That's why I'd recommend sanding it. But uh, this knife is practicality and durability over how good they can get this to be so yeah that was the ontario air force survival knife thank you guys for watching uh any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments and i will see y'all in the next one peace out guys